possible undisputed welterweight bout for later this year, Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford. Shit, we ain't, we ain't get a chance to rap about Spence. It's like, ooh, guys. Yeah, yeah, that was the last time we spoke. Um, from what I understand, um, I believe they're still negotiating. Uh, I'm hearing a whole bunch of different things, different rumors going on. Every time I look on the internet, there's something new going on between the negotiations, so I'm not sure, but it's definitely one of the biggest fights in boxing right now, if not the biggest fight. Uh, it's a very meaningful fight because it's for all the belts, and that's definitely what they both pursuing. Crawford pursued it uh, previously in uh, 140, and Spence has been saying that he's been wanting to become undisputed. So it's a meaningful fight, and every time I think about it, I think of something different. Um, I can could, I could see how Crawford could... Uh, pick uh, Spence apart and win the fight and I can see how Spence could use his volume and overwhelm Crawford so um, it's definitely a definition in my eyes of a 50-50 fight um, it just depends on who has the better game plan and who's able to execute it better that night based off of their last performances he stopped Sean Porter mm -hmm. he stops Ugas right who would you give the edge oh my god just based off the last performance Based off the last performance, I would say I would say Sean, I would say Crawford because I believe. But then again, it's like I thought Ugas beat Porter. So, um, just I'm gonna just go based off performance. I thought uh, Terrence Crawford. Uh, I think Terrence Crawford uh, definitely raised my eyebrows a little bit more than Spence. I kind of knew what Spence was gonna do to Ugas. I think it was just a bad style matchup from uh, Ugas's uh, perspective. But um, I would I would say Terrence Crawford's performance. Um, I never seen somebody just I never seen Porter get dropped twice like back to back like that, and it seemed like he was ready to go. And I've seen Porter in danger. I've seen him get dropped, but I've never seen him to the point where it was like, all right, like this is about to be like the beginning of the end. He always looked game throughout every single fight that I've seen. But Crawford was the first one that I actually seen put Sean Porter like uh, put him on the edge. I like, put him at the the point of where it's like, all right, it's starting to get really ugly. So I would say Terrence Crawford's performance stood out more. If you had to lay money on the wood, who wins that fight, Mark? Ah, shit. Um, oh, man. All right, I'm going it to... It's really, it really like a coin toss for me. But how I'm feeling right now, and I could, I could wake up tomorrow and feel totally different. But I'm going to go with Spence. Um, I'm going to say Spence has fought... The better opposition leading into this fight, in my opinion, um, I think that his, I think his, his, his pressure and his volume um, is gonna be the the keys to his victory. And then on top of that, I think I think Crawford got too much pride that when he gets hit, it's like he, he definitely like loses sight of the game plan and he just wants to sit there and prove a point. And we seen what happens when uh, when a lot of people stand in front of Spence, they usually get out, they they usually get outworked. They get out hustle and they usually get beat up. So, um, as of right now, I'm leaning towards Spence because of what he brings to the table and something that Crawford, uh, I think, is detrimental to his uh, chances against Earl Spence. Okay, Mark. Thanks. I appreciate it.